Sean sent two cent grinder back with vlog six. I have four hands to go over. I'll try to make this as entertaining as possible. Let's begin. So I have about a hundred effective with this hand, uh, ace five of spades in the cutoff. I decide to limp it after three limps. Four ways we go to a flop of ten ten three with one spade. Checks over to me. I decide to overbet for ten dollars. Try to get everything else out there besides a pair of threes to call me. I have backdoor potential, two overs to the three. Um, if someone has a 10, depending on who calls, I'll probably figure that out. Middle position calls, and the turn is a four of spades. So since I picked up some equity with the straight draw and flush draw, I decided to check it back. River comes a nine of spades. He checks, so I decide to go for the overbet of $50. All tens here are going to call me. Smaller flushes are going to call me. Over pairs to the five are probably going to call me. If um, they just don't believe me. But instead he goes for the shove of $29 more. Which threw me off. I was like well I guess you slow play 10-9. And I decided to call because it's only $29 more with the nut flush. So he shows me the boat 10-9. Next hand. I'm in the big blind with pocket threes. Five limpers. I raise to $20 in the big blind. The best player in the room is sitting at my table. There's no 2-5. He usually plays 2-5. He calls. We're heads up to a flop of 3-4-6 with two spades. I downsize to $20. He calls. Turn comes a jack of spades, completing the front door flush. I bet $40, putting him on tens or queens with a spade, because he didn't raise preflop. He calls. The river pairs a six. Now I have a full house. I think for about three seconds beside, before overbetting $196 for my stack. I think for many reasons this is the best bet. Um, if I bet small, he's probably not going to raise me. Uh, there's a lot out there. If he has king, queens or tens, he's not getting called by anything better. Uh, I want to play it tricky because this is a thinking player. Uh, I think if he calls 60 or 70, he's going to call 196 because that's, uh, that's, um, that's just the way I think. He uh, pump fakes a few times after I go all in, like he's going to call, and eventually calls. Later, my friend sitting next to him told me he had kings with the king of spades. I booked a 189 uh, win session, win for that session. The sickest hand that happened later that day was at a different game against a guy that I beat in three pots, sucking out. Knowing he's on tilt, if I hit hard the next hand I'm in with him, I'm going for max value. Under the gun, I'm dealt 8-5 of spades, I limp. He fo it folds around to the player on the button, which is the guy who I put on tilt. He makes it 10. The blinds fold, I call. Flop is ace-9-3, all spades. I check to keep in all his bluffs. He bets rather large for $30. At this point, I knew he either had an ace with a good kicker or a high spade. I raised to 70 with plans on jamming on a clean turn. He has plans of his own when he jams all in for 411 effective. I told him I flopped a flush and I asked him if he wants to run it three times to reduce variance. He said no, he wants to do it one time. Clearly he wants to suck out on me. The turn is a six of spades, counterfeiting my flush. Then the river is a seven of spades, giving me runner runner for the gin nut straight flush. So uh, before I sh tell, show him that I have a straight flush, he just announces 10 I flush because he thinks it's good. Then I turn my hand over and he tells the dealer that he's the worst dealer in the world and storms off. I booked a nice $900 wind dot session. And... Uh, Another interesting hand, which happened later the next day, was when I had ace-3 offsuit under the gun. Three callers before the cutoff makes it $12. I call. The three limpers call as well. Pot's pretty big now. Flop is ace-5-king rainbow. That pot is relatively big, and I don't want to uh, get sandbagged with an ace with a higher kicker. So I bet $2 to see who's lurking in the bushes. And um, the three people that limped all fold for $2. The preflop raiser only calls. 
If the preflop Razor had an ace with a better kicker, wouldn't he try to get me out before I hit two pair against him? Anyways, the turn comes in nine. It brings like one flush draw. I know I can bet anything large and it would make an, it would make no sense after betting two dollars. So I just decided to jam for seventy six dollars without much thought and without much thought the villain calls. River is an ace. I show my hand, he mucks. A few players at the table tell me that I'm the only person that can get away with something like that. And uh, I booked a $103 session win. Thank you.